In this video, I'll teach about setting the position, displaying UI in boxes and grids, and also custom style prefix. Let's get started. So I'll just start. We'll see that the default code is here, so we want to remove that. Let's go to script.rpy and remove everything we don't need here. So just leave the label and the return. And what we want to do is I will display a screen. So I will call screen and the screen name is stats UI. But I haven't created that. So let's create a new file. Let's save this as stats ui.rpy and then change this to all files so that it will save as .rpy format and let's create our screen let's create a frame which has a text hello we'll check this for now shift r to reload start and you can see that our hello text is appearing here so if you check here, the theme is similar. The frame is using the white background, which is same here. And then the outline is bluish or teal. We can change the size of this frame. We can say X size equals 300 and then Y size 200. Let's move it just to be more organized there you have it the size has been adjusted x size is the horizontal size and y size is the vertical size we can also move this frame to other positions you can do that by doing x pose let's say 500 and then y pose you can say 300 so what happened here is our x pose this one from the leftmost it went to the right side by 500 pixels and then for the y from the top part it went down 300 pixels so if we just adjust this maybe by 500 y position will be somewhere here and then let's say we want to display our ui here Let's remove the Y pause for now and then we can position this as 1920 because our current screen is 1920 by 1080p so that means X pause max is 1920. So if we check our UI it's somewhere here. But uh, we want it to be displayed here. We can do that by changing the X anchor. We can set this to 1.0. So what happened there? Basically, the anchor is the position of the item that will be on the current expose. So example, the original anchor was here. That is 0, 0.0. And this one is 0 0.5. This is 1.0. So what happened is I changed the X anchor to 1.0 so that it will be on the 120th pixel. So if we change this to 0 0.5, it will be in the center here, right there. Or actually, there's an easier way of coding that. Instead of doing X pause and X anchor, you can do X align 1.0. And let's say we want to move this to have a space between this one and this one we can set x offset mm, we want it to move left so we want the value to be negative let's reload so here there's a space here now and then it's the same for the y offset you can just say negative to ah no we want it to go down it should be positive so there so as you can see, everything starts from the upper left. And once you increase the value, it goes right of the X. And if you increase the value of the Y, it goes 
down. Same goes if you want it to go left, the x should be negative. And if you want it to go up, the y should be negative. We can also add a color. You can say the frame would be add solid and then our color here. So our color changed. Let's put this in the center by using X align again. So to do that, it will be X align 0 0.5. We should position it here and then let's code Y align. Then Y align 0 0.5 so that it would be positioned centered vertically. So instead, what if we want to add a background? So in our images folder, we have a UI folder and inside it, we have a BG frame. So to make that show, we can code add UI slash BG underscore frame dot PNG. So there you have it. And let's actually put this on top. So this one will be the last code process. So meaning this will be on top. That's why now the background is on top of the solid color. So we don't want this size gets too big. What we can do is add a colon here. And then every time we use a colon, the next line should be indented or the line that is used in that code. So let's just copy paste it so that they have the same size. There. So now the size is smaller. But we don't want this code, so let's just remove it for now and let's proceed to the next ones, which are the boxes. In here, we have a hello text. Instead, we want this to be stats values. So let's go charm. As you can see here, they are stuck on one position. To fix that, we want them to show horizontally. So we can put them inside uh, each box. We should add an indent to them because we want them to be inside the H box. So charm, kindness, and then guts. As you can see, there's no space in between. We can add that by coding space sync. You can say 20. You see, the space has been added in between. Uh, so you can think of each box as horizontal box, which is actually similar to columns. So this is column 1, column 2, and then column 3. As you can see here, there is a weird spacing. We can actually remove the size so that the frame will wrap around the each box, just like so. Then we can also change this to V box, which will line this up vertically there so it also has the spacing it has a spacing code it supports it so the spacing has been added now let's say we want to display their value side by side there's also a grid that we can use and then we can set the column to two and the row to three so this is the rows and then let's just set a number So as you can see here, the charm, and then one, and then kindness, and then two, and then guts, and then three. So it's the same alignment here. So it's left to right, down, left to right, down, left to right. But we see here that there's a weird spacing, which we don't want. It's because it matches the longest length here, which is kindness. So to fix this issue, we want to use a combination of H box and V box instead of a grid. So to do that, first we want to set the column. So again, the column is the H box, the horizontal. And then let's just try it here for now to make sure this is correct. So we have charm and then spacing one. Now we can do the same for everything else except we want to add a V box. So first, let's do a vertical box for the text and then a vertical box for the values. 
So if we reload this, they should look the same. Yep, it looks the same. The difference is we need to add this kindness text here and also the gut text and the first V box so that when you load this, you see that they are aligned inside the first V box. And then for the second column, we have just one. Let's show the other two. And now it's showing correctly. Now let's say we want to add a space around this. You can just code X padding. The Y padding, we can set this to 10. And you can see here that the space was added around the UI. I've talked about style prefix before, but in this video, we'll be creating a new one. So under stats UI, I want to add a style prefix of stats UI. Now that means if I want to change this text or actually every text here, I just need to code style and then the style prefix underscore text. Then you can just change the font size to a larger size. And now the size is bigger. And it's actually the same for the color. You can set this to red. So now everything here changes to red. And that's just not applicable on the text. It's also applicable on the V-Box and the H-Box and also the frame. So for the V-Box, just for an example, you can code stats UI underscore V-Box. And then we can probably change the spacing here if we want it to be larger, I guess. As you can see, the spacing here changed and also here. So this is equivalent to these two lines of code. So it just simplifies things. I'd like to thank this one supporter. With your help, I'll be able to create more videos. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned a thing or two. For more RunPy tutorials, please like and subscribe.